in lane one in this A final. We have Jaya Kamba Kamba Hapati. Forgive me for that pronunciation there. From Machine Aquatics. In lane two, we have Sean Hogan from Poseidon Swimming. Casey Storch, the winner of the 100 and 200 breaststroke earlier this meet, will be in lane three. He's from Machine Aquatics. Sean Conway, who we spoke to, his interview, I believe, is on Friday. It's, it's on swimmingworldmagazine.com. Check that out. He was the top, he was uh, second, I believe, in the 400 IM. And he's seated first here with a 147.2 from this morning's prelims. Nathan Wakefield from Poseidon's in lane five. Connor Killian from Central Bucks in six. Ryan Catrone from Nation's Capital in seven. And his teammate Noah Rutberg is in lane eight. We were talking to the 13, 14 girls about underwaters. These guys can get underwater. If you're going to have a good 200 backstroke as a, as a big guy these days, you got to go pretty far underwater. Yeah, again, you should be a little bit more developed, a little bit stronger, a little bit more experience working your underwater, just more time to develop and practice. Um, so you want to start seeing that, sort of more of a commitment to that, um, being committed to being good at it and developing that skill. So when, especially with college swimming, if you're looking to swim in college, you need to be good at underwaters. They're legitimately underwater for half the race of a 200 backstroke, yeah. which is, when you're already hurting with your legs, that puts you in some serious oxygen debt. Speaking of uh, the older guys and kind of being stronger going off the wall, uh, Andrew, maybe you could have some experience with this racing the older big guys like that in college and being a pro. Do you notice any bounce off of a bulkhead when you race these big guys? Because it actually can give a little bit of a, if it's an older bulkhead especially, it can actually give a little bit and kind of almost act like a little bit of a trampoline and, and bounce you off. That's a new one. Never heard that before. Uh, I mean, maybe in like a collegiate guy's 100 free or something. I don't right. think you'd see it here, um, or unless the bulkhead's loose, in which case that's a that's, that's not good. That'd that'd that's a, a problem. Whole that's yeah. a whole different story. <laughs> but I problem. think here you're probably not seeing much. These things yeah. are locked down pretty big, and they're not everyone having turned at once. Or maybe that first 25 on a guy's 100 free, or a when everyone's when everyone's bouncing off at the same time. Uh, but I don't think you'll see that here. I think you see the, the heat spread out a little bit. Some it's a little bit longer race. Uh, I don't think they'll have that. I don't think they're having that problem. Great last underwater there for Storch, but I don't think he's going to challenge Conway here. Conway to the wall in 146.89. What a last 50 for Sean Conway as he grabs his first win of the meet. Second was Storch in 147.43, and Connor Killian took third in 149.02.